You know, I've had several careers. <laughs> and I started out as a research scientist and I was really passionate about learning about how the world works. When I was in college, I went through bachelor's, master's, PhD, all straight through in earth science. And to tell you the truth, I woke up one day and it was on my 50th birthday and I decided I should start my own company. It was like an epiphany. It just hit me all of a sudden. I started Metis Technology Solutions, my company. Seven years later, you know, we've grown to almost 100 employees. I'm very proud of the accomplishments of the company, which really come from the hard work of the employees that we've been able to attract. I don't think that women need to act like men to be successful in tech. In fact, people uh, who are looking at the types of behaviors they want to demonstrate in their professional lives really have to maintain and be aware of that situational awareness and do the right thing at the right time. The ad advice I would give is don't hesitate to do it. You know, I had people say, oh, you waited a little too long. <laughs> I don't know if that's exactly true because I did it when I was ready to do it. But, you know, I have a lot of young women that I'm mentoring who are starting much earlier in their careers to own their own businesses. And I applaud that. And, you know, there are a lot of resources out there. I've had a very long career, so I would say one of the lessons is to go with the flow. I know that doesn't sound very profound, perhaps, but you really draw on these diverse past experiences in a way that you wouldn't have anticipated when you decided, well, I'm gonna take this crazy job offer and see where it leads.